What if everything we know about consciousness is just the beginning? In a world where life and death dance closely, there lies a mystery waiting to be unraveled. Join us as we dive into the groundbreaking research of Pim Van Lommel exploring near-death experiences that challenge our very understanding of life itself. Is consciousness merely a product of our brains, or is there something more? We'll confront the skepticism, embrace the mystery, and hear the stories that defy explanation. Are you ready to question the unknown, to look beyond the veil of life and death? Subscribe and join us on this journey of discovery. In 2001, a study was conducted by Dr. Pim van Lommel, a renowned cardiologist from the Netherlands. The study was a comprehensive investigation into the nature of consciousness and its continuity after clinical death. Dr. van Lommel sought to uncover whether consciousness persists after our hearts stop beating, our lungs stop breathing, and our brains stop functioning. An endeavor that may seem more aligned with philosophy or religion than science, yet he approached it with the rigor and scrutiny of a seasoned scientist. The methodology was meticulously designed. Over a span of two years, Dr. Van Lommel and his team collected data from 344 cardiac arrest survivors from 10 different Dutch hospitals. Each participant was interviewed within a week of their recovery. The researchers were particularly interested in near-death experiences, or NDEs, and if these experiences provided any insight into the continuity of consciousness. This study was no small feat, it required the cooperation of multiple hospitals and the participation of hundreds of individuals who had, in some sense, peered into the abyss of the unknown. The data gathered was immense, and the analysis, thorough. The researchers had to sift through countless personal narratives, seeking patterns and correlations, all the while maintaining a high degree of objectivity and scientific rigor. And it wasn't just the scale of the study that was impressive. This research was published in The Lancet, one of the world's oldest and most reputable medical journals. A testament to its credibility and significance, the study held its own among research focused on more tangible, less metaphysical aspects of medicine. The results of this study, well, they were nothing short of intriguing. The findings of Dr. Lommel's study truly challenged our understanding of consciousness. A vast majority of the patients who had near-death experiences reported an enhanced state of awareness, even during the period of clinical death. They described vivid mental experiences, a sense of peace, detachment from the body, and encounters with deceased relatives. The most intriguing part is that these patients could recount detailed events that supposedly occurred during their unconscious state. Some of them were even able to describe specific medical procedures that were carried out on them, which they would have had no way of knowing. Could these experiences be a result of the brain's response to intense stress? Dr. Lommel's findings suggest otherwise. The study found no correlation between the physiological state of the brain and the occurrence or depth of these experiences. What's more, many of these experiences were reported by individuals who had flat EEGs, indicating no measurable brain activity. This defies the conventional understanding that consciousness is produced solely by the brain. The experiences were also remarkably consistent across different cultures and age groups, suggesting a universality that is hard to dismiss. These findings pose a perplexing question. If consciousness can exist independently of the brain, as these near-death experiences seem to suggest, then what is its true nature? Could it be that consciousness is not a byproduct of our brain's processes but something more fundamental, something that persists even when our physical bodies cease to function? This study has opened a Pandora's box of questions, challenging the very core of our understanding of life, death, and consciousness. It has given us a glimpse into a realm that exists beyond the physical, a realm that we are only beginning to understand. But what does this mean for us and our understanding of consciousness? The study stirred a significant debate in the scientific and philosophical communities. As we delve deeper into the consciousness conundrum, we realize the divide it has created among scholars. On one side we find skeptics, those who question the methodology and findings of the study. They argue that the experiences reported by patients might be hallucinations, a result of the brain's response to extreme stress. Or perhaps they are nothing more than dreamlike states triggered by the dying brain's final attempts to process information. Skeptics question the validity of subjective accounts, 
pointing out that personal experiences can be influenced by a multitude of factors, including cultural and religious beliefs. They also highlight the need for more rigorous scientific evidence to substantiate the claims made in the study. On the other side of the debate, we find the supporters, who view the study as a breakthrough in our understanding of consciousness. They argue that the experiences reported by patients indicate the existence of a form of consciousness that continues even after the brain has ceased to function. They believe that these near-death experiences provide a glimpse into what might lie beyond our physical existence. Supporters also point out the remarkable consistency in the experiences reported by patients, irrespective of their cultural and religious backgrounds. They argue that this consistency lends credibility to the findings. These divergent viewpoints provide us with a rich tapestry of perspectives on consciousness, a testament to the complexity and mystery of the human mind. The debates have sparked new avenues for research pushing the boundaries of our understanding of life, death, and what lies beyond. Yet amidst all the debates and discussions, we find ourselves back at square one, still grappling with the enigma of consciousness. As is often the case with such profound questions, the more we learn, the more we realize how much we still don't know. The debates, as you might imagine, did not lead to a definitive conclusion. But they did serve to remind us of the fascinating journey that lies ahead in our quest to unravel the mysteries of consciousness. Regardless of where you stand on the debate, the study's findings have profound implications. The study suggests a possibility that consciousness is non-local, meaning it doesn't solely reside within our physical bodies. This could radically shift our understanding of life and death. If consciousness is indeed non-local, our perceptions of existence might need some serious rethinking. Consider this. If our consciousness is not confined to the physical constraints of our bodies, then where does it go after we die? The study doesn't provide a definite answer, but it does open a door to a realm of possibilities. This could lend credence to theories of afterlife, reincarnation, or even parallel universes. Suddenly the boundaries of life and death become less distinct, don't they? This also raises further questions about the nature of our existence. If we're not just our physical selves, what are we? Are we cosmic travelers on a journey through various physical forms? Are we part of a larger consciousness that we tap into and borrow from during our brief stint in the physical world? And what about the practical implications? How would this affect fields like psychology or neurology, which are based on the premise that our minds, our consciousness, are products of our brains? If consciousness is non-local, it could mean a paradigm shift in these fields, prompting researchers to explore new theories and models. Additionally, the potential implications on ethics and morality are also worth pondering. If our consciousness continues beyond physical death, it could change how we perceive actions and their consequences. It might bring a new dimension to the concept of karma, the idea that our actions have repercussions beyond this physical life. But as riveting as these possibilities are, they're still just that, possibilities. The study, while groundbreaking, is just the beginning. It poses more questions than it answers, pushing us to explore the unknown. So, are we closer to understanding the enigma of consciousness? Perhaps. As we've seen, the continuity of consciousness is a complex and captivating topic. We've delved deep into this fascinating study, unraveling the intricate threads of consciousness and its continuity. We've explored the findings that challenge our conventional understanding, pushing the boundaries of what we consider as the norm. We've seen how this study, in its uniqueness, has offered us compelling insights into the world of consciousness. The study's findings, while intriguing, have sparked debates, stimulating the curious minds of thinkers and philosophers. The continuity of consciousness, the interplay of life, death, and beyond, these are profound topics that have been grappled with. The implications of these findings have far-reaching effects, influencing not just our understanding of consciousness but also our approach to life, death, and the very fabric of existence. They raise questions about our identity, our existence, and the nature of reality itself. These discussions, these debates, they're all part of a larger conversation, a conversation that continues to evolve and deepen as we further our understanding of consciousness. It's a journey of discovery, of understanding, and of exploration. While the mystery of consciousness remains, it's clear that our understanding is ever-evolving. Who knows what we might discover next? Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the continuity of consciousness. Your time and interest in exploring these profound and thought-provoking topics with us is greatly appreciated. 
We hope that this exploration has stimulated your curiosity and sparked a desire to delve deeper into the mysteries of consciousness. We understand that these discussions can raise more questions than they answer, so we encourage you to share your thoughts, insights and questions in the comments section. This is not just a one-way conversation, your input is valuable and contributes to the ongoing exploration and understanding of these complex topics. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in exploring more fascinating topics, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the mysteries of the mind, the universe, and everything in between. Until next time, we urge you to keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep growing. Remember, the journey to understanding is just as important as the destination. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to continuing this journey of discovery with you.